the Elder Maul, old school RuneScape's strongest weapon, on paper at least, with a 147 strength bonus accompanied by a 135 crush accuracy bonus, you would assume this is a much sought after item. Unusually, old school RuneScape's highest hitting weapon isn't that sought after after all. In fact, it has a handful of niche uses. The Elder Maul is a preferred choice for crushing your way through Tecton's defences, a boss from which the weapon originates, found within the chambers of Zeric, and it's often found in PvP, especially amongst the low level defence, pure community. Where the Elder Maul might have once had an edge, other weapons have taken the top spot for most players. And it's reflected in its current price. But I'm a little biased, it's one of my favourite weapons and I think it's the coolest looking item in game for me personally. So I really wanted to look into the history of the Elnimal, the Chambers of Zeric and its originator, Tecton. The story behind the Elnimal is actually quite a sad one. It comes from a once man called Tecton. Tecton was an avid follower of Zeric, more of a worshipper really even after Zeric was pushed out of power by the great Karend of which he ruled. Tecton was almost obsessed with Zeric. He built these huge shrines and these buildings for people to come and show their support, treating Zeric almost like a god. It's believed that Tecton once had a wife and children, although their current whereabouts is unknown to us. Zeric was hungry for power. He knew that with improved magics he could do this. Zeric knew that Tecton was a skilled builder, and he ordered that he oversee the creation and the construction of the chambers under Mount Quidamortem, the chambers of Zeric that we know today. Zeric was now pleased that he could explore and practice cave magic within. Unfortunately, so could everyone else. Jealousy grew, and one of those practicing this magic was Vasa Nisterio. What's left of Vasa can now be found within the raid for players to fight. As well as a skilled builder, Tecton was a highly skilled mage, especially when it came to these funny looking crystals that he calls them, and cave magic. Zeric knew this, and he conjured up a plan to gain access to Tecton's magical conscious. But first, Zeric demanded that the chambers be destroyed, to prevent others from practicing the cave magic. Tecton only part demolished them, however, knowing that Zeric could change his mind in the future. But for the meantime, without access to the chambers, Tecton offered to teach Zeric cave magic without the aid of the temple. This however failed, and Zeric's patience was slipping. This failure prompted Zeric to put his plan into action and get inside the head of Tecton to learn everything that he knew. Tecton was taken into the chambers under the perception that he was going to be rewarded for all his hard work and his loyalty and to a degree he was. He was given immortality and a body crafted from the precious rocks and the metals found within the caves. He was also given a magical anvil to repair his newly found indestructible body. Hang on a minute. Zeric created this indestructible immortal body for the mind of Tecton, only for him to then build an anvil to repair it. It's not a very indestructible body if he has to keep fixing it. Uh, anyway. Tecton had his soul ciphered from his mortal body, his memories and his consciousness engulfed by Zeric's greed and what was left simply dumped into this great indestructible being with nothing more than broken memories and confusion. Every day, Tecton became a little stronger, only waiting for Zeric's next orders to be used as nothing more than a weapon. Tecton's journal can be found by players inside the raid. In his journal, he writes that sometimes he thinks of a family, perhaps a family that he once might have had, but we know that he did have. He's unsure. He wonders about the crystals surrounding him and he's confused as to why he lacks the ability to manipulate them like he thought he had the power once to do. All he knows now his strength. His doubts about Zeric using him for his intelligence are dismissed by his simple mind and he's naive to the fact that he's only used for his strength and his brute force. 
a once family man, a worshipper, a skilled builder and an even better mage, left mindless and disconcerted, stuck in the body of an indestructible brute, unknowingly living in a prison, awaiting his master's return. Zarek has since been exiled, but there are whispers amongst men that Zarek may return. So this one's for you, Tecton. Give me strength. Let's take the Elder Maul into PvP. Okay, he's MSB spec'd me, so that was interesting. Damn it! Why did I only half spec as well? That was very silly. Oh! Oh! <laughs> First fight of the day. That was a nice little warm up. Let's just uh, grab all the arrows. God damn it! Good luck, my man! Oh, <laughs> oh RNG is a beautiful thing on the game of old school RuneScape. Let's pick up our lair potions. Bearhead man. Uh, have I done that quest? I should do that quest to give me the bare head. Right, he's he's, he's a madman. I hit a zero. Of course I did. What? Did I get him with a Gmail? <laughs> okay. What? Oh, the 51. Nice one. Wow, that is a lot of stuff on the floor there. Uh, nope, no Anku on the floor there. Good luck, sir. Dragon Skazmatar. Ow. Okay, we good. That was cheeky. Of course! You bad man. Bad man. I want to fight an Iron Man. An Iron Man. Yay. I'm going to kill an Iron Man. I oh, read it's going to hate this. <laughs> A 34. Yep. He's going to kill me. Oh, 48. Good fight. Oh, I got rune legs from Iron Man rune legs. These aren't just any rune legs. Oh, look at this Iron Man loot. This is so special. Well, we have to price check this. I don't know why I had a thousand earth runes on him, but so that's 155k. Plus the 4,000% bonus because it was a by the way. That is probably like 155 mil PK because he was an Iron Man. Well, there's no beating that. Just end the video now. Oh, I love PvP. Off. No. Stop. Please. Great. Good luck, sir. Weird flex. Okay. Thank you. Don't just one bang me out. Okay, we're good. We survived. He's going to G-maul me! Oh, Eldermore. I respect it. He's dead. A 28. Come on, please. Where was the 55? Please don't hit bang me. Fit 42. He's going to hit me. He's hit a 49. <laughs> well, you made it into vid. <laughs> Hello. 
Okay, he could have hit a 46 there and I could have died and that would have been very bad. What? What the? Good fight, man. Whew. Whoa, spectacles? What are they? All right, let's have a look what we're playing at here now. Oh, they look incredible. Are they worth anything? 40,000 gold pennies. Yeah, not too, not too shabalabby. Well, that's a lot of arrows. Hit me. Do it. Good luck. Yay. Good luck, good luck. A 22. Oh, you, you, you just couldn't do it for me, could you? Oh, God. Please be gentle with me. Yes, we got him. I need to get out. <laughs> what was I doing risking that for a G more in 38k? Oh my god. No wonder I lose plus ones on the daily. I'm an absolute whale. Uh, he initiated this fight. He's level 71, by the way. He's probably going to annihilate me. Oh, the 36. Good fight, man. Good fight. He, he just drops the old smiley face. Legend.